G'day viewers, my name is Michael and welcome back to Single Racer. Now this is a totally unplanned video and that's because I came across what you might call a bug but it's probably an Assetto Corsa limitation and I discovered it purely by accident and just want to run through if you're having trouble with loading the default original Assetto Corsa menu and why I struck um, there's actually two problems I'll cover, but the main one is the one that's, that I was trying to solve. And so let's start the game now, just while I explain. And it was because I thought I had a faulty or buggy mod car. And I knew it was the car over a track because of the fact that, as you can see here, it has the title at the bottom... And it says, for those that can't read it, it says loading car metadata. And what will happen now is it'll get stuck at 100%. Now, being a slightly more advanced user, user of a PC, um, I know the trick to get out of it, which is to select task manager and just um, end the task. And we'll do that now. But what I wanted to explain was my the routine of... Um, trying to solve the problem and mind you remember that I thought it was one or two um, faulty cars and that's because um, you know for so long I've had so many cars loaded and had no problems getting into the menu. Now being an old DOS person I got a it was a tip from someone um, a dear friend who uh, always told me, you know, just make a directory called 111 and that way you never get it mixed up with um, other directories uh, names or delete other directory names by accident. So that's what I did and I simply moved all the cars from the Assetto Corsa directory out of the menu and then reloaded them in basically alphabetically. You know, I, I loaded all the default cars and um, cars made by VRC and RSS, all the companies, the major companies, because I knew they worked, and then just went through A to Z trying to work out which was the faulty car. And that's when I stumbled across this. So if I go to here, I literally got down to, now I was doing it from Z to A, by the way, but... I literally came down to the one car here that I thought was the faulty car and this is where I struck the problem. Now if I go into the game just to show you and bear with me um, while the menu loads but I just want to, I'm doing this live so normally when I do a, a video I have, even though I don't have a script, I still kind of practice or rehearse what I'm going to say uh, just so I've got some sort of um, structure to what I'm going to say in the video. So this is totally on the fly. So bear with me uh, because I'll be all over the place. But I just want to show you that it works. So now the menu loads. And I thought that's one of the, one of the faulty cars. But I didn't know if I had just the one or more than, you know, say like two or three. And this is where I discovered the bug or I think what is an Assetto Corsa limitation, and just want to show you um, what happened. But the reason that I discovered this was because I had the Panos loaded previously and the menu loaded. And then suddenly when I um, was trying to figure out, so what I was doing was I was eliminating one car and then I thought, well, if that isn't working, rather than do one at a time, which would take ages, I just did a group of five or ten. And when I did the five or ten, it included the Panos, which worked before. And then now, if I go in again, and apologies for, um, uh, just skip ahead a bit in the, in the video if you, if you want. Uh, but just to show you again, it suddenly didn't work. And then what I realized was that maybe it's not a faulty car, but a limitation. And I started to do some tests and I discovered this very interesting thing. Because I remember a channel called Humble George wondering why he couldn't start the um, menu either. So there I'm stuck again. So I have to do the control alt delete, bring up the task manager, close it off again in task. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out just to show you a, a sort of as a process of elimination. My brother gave me this great uh, thing where it's like a scientist and you just eliminate one thing at a time and try and work through it what, what is causing the problem. And I'm talking general PC problems that you have. But I used this in this case. And then suddenly I noticed the menu would start again. Now you watch, it'll go past 100% and load. Now just to explain, this problem does not affect Content Manager. And I am now using Content Manager. And I can load all the cars into Content Manager. And those creators out there would say, well, Mick, if you're using Content Manager, why would you even bother with this? And that's simply because I wanted that if ever the occasion arose, and I've done it before in a video, to be able to show both the original AC menu and Content Manager menu, if I ever wanted to explain something and show both, to give you the example in a visual sense. So I naturally wanted the menu to be able to load. So as you can see here, it loads just fine. So we go out and, and I was stumped with this where I had the Panos loaded and um, it loaded and then suddenly I took it out and it wouldn't load. And then it dawned on me that what it seems to be, and if you come down here to the bottom left as I select the cars menu in Assetto Corsa, it seems to be that Assetto Corsa has a natural limit of 564 cars. Now, because I'm doing this on the fly, and I've never done this before, so this is not practiced, I just want to prove that it's not being caused by, you know, because let's be honest, in some of the the um, maybe Facebook or some of the d more dodgier um, mega um, sites where you get these mods from, they can be a little <laughs> dodgy to say the least. So I wanted to make sure that it's not that. So now that I believe it's a limit of 564, I'm going to try and prove it now by loading all the mods. So all my, you know, let's say dodgy mods are loaded and all I'm going to take out now is the official, well-known, classy, high-quality RSS mods. And, you know, I may as well take out VRC not to be discriminating against one or the other. And I know how good they are. And now if we come back, we'll check. So the limit seems to be 564. So now I've got 559. And I guarantee you, now, this will load. And I find it really interesting. So for those, while we wait for the menu to load again, for those that have more than 564 cars loaded, I'd be fascinated to know that. And if you know the reason why, uh, you possibly are able to load them. But I remember the channel Humble George being confused and initially, probably wrongly, but initially blaming an early... Um, version of content manager thinking but I'm, I wonder being with him being a tweaker of cars whether he just had more than 564 and uh, didn't know no, that was um the and, uh... sorry about that folks uh, <laughs> I got rudely interrupted by uh, uh, two people in a row they just don't want me to get this video done firstly my brother wanted some info or some advice about a, a fantastic game he's playing and uh then uh, my sim racing friend Tuna just sent me a message. So, just uh, so now that we've taken, um, just to uh, recap, now we've taken the VRC and the RSS cars out, which are high quality, good cars. But now it's below that limit of 564. Now it's worked perfectly again. So. Um, it just goes to show that there is a limit and if anyone understands why there might be that limit and um, can advise as to uh, if they can get more than 564 cars loaded, uh, you know, it would be great to get some uh, feedback in the comments section. But now what I'll do is just to prove the point again. So we load the cars back again. So these are all the final cars and we have 581 cars and I guarantee you now it won't load. 
Now, just for the record, this is no problem if you're running Content Manager, which I am, because uh, it just means that I run everything from Content Manager and don't have to worry about the Assetto Corsa menu. But um, just at least now I know that if I ever want to do a comparison video, where, which I did when I did the Content Manager review or a type of review, is that now when I'm stuck, like here I am again, now it's got 581 cars as opposed to the limit 564, it's stuck again. So at least I know that I just, all I have to do really is take out enough cars to be below that 564 limit and um, the menu will load. And we'll just finish off. And now what I'll do is I'll just discuss one final other area that helped me um, where you can't seem to get into a Seto Corsa anymore. And this is regardless of whether you run Content Manager or not, just for those people that don't use Content Manager, there was another reason you couldn't get in, and I'll show you that fix now. Okay, so the last uh, thing very similar was a fix for me. Now, it's no, not guaranteed that it will fix the problem, but it did fix it for me personally, and that's if you try and load a Seto Corsa and you're stuck on the part of the menu that says um, setting defaults, and it won't go any further, it's stuck on setting defaults. The way I got around this fix, and it was thanks to a person on a forum who suggested the answer, is that there are two places that Assetto Corsa gets installed. The original game, which is wherever you choose to install it, but there's also a settings section of Assetto Corsa, which saves all your save games, your replays, your settings, you know, for your controller, uh, your wheel, you know, whatever you're using. All those things get saved into a different place and it is under your Windows, your normal C drive directory under Windows there. So it's located under Users, uh, Michael in my case, but um, you know, whatever your name is or whatever you chose to uh, give the name for your user. And there you will find under Documents, so under Michael Documents, you'll find the Assetto Corsa um, other directory where all these saves get saved and it's under lo um, launcher data sorry launcher data and then local storage and it's this first file here called file underscore it looks like a double underscore zero dot local storage and if you delete that file for some reason then you're able to get into the menu now it's important that you delete that file only that's the one so file double underscore it looks like zero dot local storage and you will be able to get it back into your Assetto Corsa menu. But um, just a, a tip that if you do ever get into trouble and you delete the wrong one or you muck up, you can always right click Assetto Corsa, go to properties and you um, go to local files and there's a thing called verify integrity of game files and if any of the wrong files were deleted by accident or something like that you can always fix them the only trouble with that is in my case where i make tweaks to get a thing called the free run camera all those will be wiped because it basically re, re puts the files there or any files that are missing and overwrites them again so you have to do those tweaks again but that's the downside but the the good thing is if you ever get into trouble by deleting um, the wrong file, then that's your way out. So I hope that fixes the problem for you or uh, you found it interesting as far as if you were wondering why you couldn't get into the Assetto Corsa menu. Um, this is Michael signing out for Single Racer. I'll catch you next time. See you later. Oh, and happy racing.